Hi friends, I'm Laura, this is Vega Drinks. I went on another bourbon hunt and I wanna show you some of the footage from that and then the store haul I got from it. Okay, last time I got a little bit of hate from not showing enough store footage on my whiskey hunt. So this time I tried uh, to get a lot more footage. It was difficult. The first two stores we went to, they told us that they would kick us out and we'd never be allowed in again if we filmed. So I need some tips on how you film without getting kicked out of stores because uh, apparently people don't like that around here. I hope you enjoy watching some store footage. I will just leave you with some music to watch some of that and then we'll get back and I'll show you what I bought.
Okay, after traveling around to lots of different stores and lots of different cities across Washington and Oregon, I'll show you what I came home with. I'm getting more and more interested in single malts and scotches. Uh, so I got the Buna Haben. Uh, this is the 12 years old small batch, 46.3% alcohol. I'm sure I'll review this one for you guys. I've heard great things about it. I can't wait to try it. On that same note, uh, I really enjoyed the Lagavulin that I got before. So I came home with the 16 year old Lagavulin. Uh, and then I ended up with a bottle that is more local to me. It is an Oregon whiskey. So this is Bull Run. It is uh, aged 15 years with further aging in um, an Oregon Pinot Noir cast. So it says it was aged for five months in Pinot Noir. So I'm excited to try this. I mean, Hopefully with 15 years old, it tastes delicious. This is 48.89% uh, alcohol or 97.78 proof. I hope it's really good. Um, another one that I'm really excited for is this uh, rare character. It is selected by staff of Hollywood Beverage, which is a Portland liquor store. It is 122.22 proof, six years, seven months. Uh, we have one other rare character single barrel rye, which is just like this one, a 95.5 mash bill distilled in Kentucky. So it's a Kentucky rye, not a MGP rye. And it is probably one of my favorite bottles on the shelf. So when we, we saw that Oregon had one of these, we had to pick it up. It's a single barrel, so it may not be as good, but I'm really hoping that it is. My only issue with rare character bottles is this wax top. It is insane. They put this really thick layer of wax, nothing to rip. You gotta use a knife. Should, should whiskey drinkers have to use a knife to get into the bottle? I don't know that that's a good idea, at least not for me. I'll probably end up hurting myself, but it'll be worth it once I get this bottle open. Okay, next. Uh, along the lines of getting into more single malts, this is a Texas whiskey, Balcones, uh, Texas single malt, single barrel. This is a high proof, 64.7% alcohol, uh, 60 months in barrel. This is a single barrel from Total Wine. It is amazing. I didn't know I was really into Texas whiskey and I was actually kind of afraid to try this one because I tried their baby blue corn, I believe it's called, just a sample one time and I thought it was absolutely disgusting, but it's worth it to try more, I guess, because this one is really good. And then I ended up with a couple bottles that I'm really excited for. Um, the first one we had been hunting and the prices in Washington are insane uh but so we did not get this for msrp but we did get it for a price that we were okay with so this is the stag it's the 19 uh batch 19 or i guess on here it says 22b so maybe that's what people are calling it now i'm not sure what to call it but it's 130 proof um we've tried it already it tastes like stag jr they're I feel pretty similar in taste, but um, we paid close to $200 for it. I know that's not anywhere near the MSRP, but that's probably half uh, the price of what we normally see it for. So we were happy with it, felt good about the purchase. Uh, you, you just kind of have to decide for yourself what you're willing to pay for a bottle. And that's the only way we can get one around here. And then the last one I wasn't even actually looking for, but we saw it in two liquor stores and thought, well, we should get it. It's the Booker's. Uh, this is the batch one of the 23. So first one of this year. Well, this is 63.3% alcohol or 126.6 proof. And it is seven years, one month and eight days old. So this is very specific on the age. Going down to the days it was in the barrel. This one's called Charlie's Badge. I'm excited to 
find out what's special about Charlie's batch. The last bookers that we found on the shelf was the uh, batch one of 2022. So it's been a full year since we've seen one. Hopefully it won't be that way again. I'd like to compare more of the more of the bottles and I heard really good things about some of the bottles last year that I'm disappointed I didn't get to find. Um, but here we are starting the year off right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you're finding and uh, if you have trouble filming in stores as well or if you have tips on what I can do to get stores to let me film or hide it better so that they don't even know I'm filming because I'd like to give you more content. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Have a great day.